Okay, one more thing I want to talk about in along the lines of not making money before we start talking about how people do make money. Not making money. The phenomenon of trying and trying and throwing one, one feature up, throwing another feature up until you get it to work. There's a long period of time for most companies on the web where not only aren't they making money, but their software stinks. The first few versions of their software, nobody uses it, nobody wants it, and they keep trying. They keep trying and trying. You see in this article here from 1997 called Facebook's Flop, what was the flop? The flop was them trying to use the social network in order to drive advertising. Well, if you remember from a previous, from a previous lecture that I gave you, it's now 2011, and they're making plenty of money from using people's faces to drive their advertising. So they tried, didn't work, they took it down, they apologized, they tried again, didn't work, took it down, they apologized. You can see that exact same phenomenon on Facebook now with privacy and security. I personally don't think that Facebook means to have a security policy that everybody dislikes. They just don't know how to get it right. <laughs> And for good reason, you know, that no one really knows how to get that stuff right. But you see Facebook trying and trying and trying and trying to thread the needle between staying cool, staying some, a company that people want to trust, that want, that want to use, and also leaving themselves the ability to make money. So the current privacy agreement on Facebook it, uh, reflects just that. It's their best guess for today of how to be able to still use your information to make money, but at the same time not piss you off and make you leave. That's the version three phenomenon. I first saw the version 3 phenomenon, again, at Microsoft. They did a lot of work with Microsoft early on. And um, when I uh, was early on at Microsoft, I remember seeing Windows 2.0, used on some computer, some random computer at Microsoft, and it was used for a throwaway computer. And no one paid any attention to it whatsoever. That was version 2.0. Version 1.0 is barely in existence. You never, can, I, I don't even think I ever saw a copy of Windows 1.0, because it was so bad and because it just didn't get there. Then what happened in Windows 3.0? All of a sudden, the third version went through the roof and became the operating system of choice. So this is another part of not making money is trying and trying and trying again. And the most successful companies on the web are not those that have the best software. The most successful companies on the web are those that learn enough from their experiences to keep creating new versions, to keep creating new ideas, and make sure that eventually they get something that people really like and plays the margin between making money and being uh, software that people really want to use.